Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pat from popularmmos.com, and I am doing a guide for Atlantica Online on how to set up a correct formation. And hopefully, this will be helpful for people who are new to the game and for people who have been playing for quite a while. The most important thing to mention is that the char three characters in the front are going to be taking most of the damage. So, that is where you're going to want your tanking characters. And all melee characters do have the ability to tank, but some are much better at it than others. Characters with shields are going to be superior, as swordsmen or a lady knight are going to be um, very good compared to um, a character uh, who does not wear a shield. The spot you're going to want your best tank is going to be in the middle of the front row. And this is because characters who can hit all three of the front row, if they hit any of the three, they're going to always hit the middle character. And they're going to be taking the most damage. So you want your best possible tank in the front. And if it's and if you don't have a character with a shield, you're just going to want the one that is best geared right in the middle in this spot. And right now, I don't have um, a character with a shield. But as you can see, he has the most hit points. He has the best gear. So that's where you're going to want to put them. You're going to want your other two best tanking characters on the left and the right of the front row. And you're going to want to make sure you have at least three tanks because you really can't you can't really go with just two because they're going to just blow through your um, mercenaries. Having a fourth tank may prove useful um, to you if you're new in the game and is going to be useful for most people in general. And you're going to want to put them in the second row. And the second row should really consist of your uh, three characters that have the best defense other than the ones in the front row. And in general, um, if they're not tank characters, they're going to be uh, ranged DPS characters, usually have more uh, health and defense than magic characters do. And, that, and the one with the best stats you're going to want right in the middle because they're going to take the most damage out of the ones in the middle row. The people in the middle row are going to take damage from spear mercenaries, which hit two in a row um, backwards like this, and from different ranged ones. And the one in the middle will take the most damage from all range because any cannon from any spot here or here can hit the person in the middle also. Having a fourth tank is great because if one of your front die, then you can just switch the spot with them and your characters will still be protected. And finally, the back row c should consist of your weaker characters, and this way they're going to take the least amount of damage as possible. Because if they were in the front row, like if your healer was in the front row, they're going to die extremely quickly from fighting. One thing that's really worth mentioning is your main... Some people differ on their opinion of where to put your main character. And you do have the choice to put your main character, if they are a tank, right in the front row. But the problem is, if your main character dies, then you die. If your mercenaries die, you don't die. So it is a risk having your main character in the front row. But if you have a monk on your team, monks have special um, healing moves that can heal your main character when they take damage. So it is pretty safe to have your main character in the front row, especially if they're um, a swordsman or a chainsaw, as those are the two best tanking ones that there are. Because of the healing, they should be able to um, survive pretty well in the front row. But if you are fighting some really strong monsters and are struggling with them, it may be best to put your main character in uh, one of the rows back a little bit to keep them safe so you don't die. If you do decide to have a witch on your team at some point, the witch's best spot is always right in the middle. And that's because she's a floating character and she can't take any damage from any melee characters and only from uh, ranged and magic. So she actually stops cannons from being able to hit five years at the same time since they can't hit in the middle and hit all five. Anyways guys, I hope that um, some of those tips help you in fixing your formation if you're new to the game or even if you've been playing for a while. So subscribe to my channel and check out popularmos.com. See you guys.